In previous sections, I talked about creating users and groups, creating shares, and uh, giving those shares permissions to different users and groups. And this way, other users can use uh, files and folders stored on your system. Here I want to talk about another thing, talking about home group. And uh, with home group, you can, you know, uh, achieve a goal you, uh, with, with, with uh, less effort, with less uh, complications, such as, you know, working with all those permissions. Of course, they are more robust. They are, you know, uh, much more flexible than what we are going to do here. But here is a simple way to share your files and folders with other computers without going to all of those uh, you know troubles so let me go to uh, control panel again I right click on start menu and go to control panel and of course from here I can go to yes go to control panel and here I have networking sharing center if you do not see that you can go and click on view by and select small icons and of course, I can uh, go to this uh, uh, network uh, icon in system tray and right click on that and select open network and sharing center. All of those will take me to network and sharing center. From here, I can see the home group link at the bottom of this page on the left side. Clicking on this home group, it is going to create a home group for me. So first of all, I need to create a home group. So here. Uh, before that, let me go to change advanced uh, sharing settings. Clicking on that, it gives me the ability to work with uh, shares on a private network and of course on my home group connection. For example, on home group connection, I can allow Windows to manage home group connections or I can use user accounts to pass, uh, and password for uh, you know other computers. I just uh, let Windows to select all of these decisions for me. And of course I can have home group troubleshooter if I have any problem with my home group. Let me create a home group from scratch. By creating a home group, I click on next. Here I can select uh, which files or folders I want to share. As you can see, some of these files and folders have already been shared. For example, my pictures are shared, videos are shared. I may not want my music to be shared, so I click on not share. I may have some documents shared, and of course, uh, I just want to make them shared. For example, uh, this is based on your you know, uh, needs, so you can change this setting. And of course you have your printers and devices and again you know how to share a printer and work with that printer from another computer. So I click on next and now your home group is going to be created. Now you can see this password. This is a very complex password. You need to print it. So I click print password and instruction and by printing this page I make sure that I have this password uh, in another place. For example, I want to print it to a fax, like XPS document. I, I don't have a printer right now. Let me just save it to some place. I select all of them, right click on that, and click on copy. And open Notepad from here by typing Notepad and hit enter and save it. Now I just save this as my home group and uh, I just want to use password but you know using this uh, you know specific words such as passwords or credit cards or things like this for your file names are a little dangerous because you know some uh, uh, scripts or some worms or some viruses just search your computer for these types of names and find the information inside that and send it to another place I just want to, you know, select, for example, PD, and I know that PD is a, an acronym for password. So that's it. I saved this. Now I have my password, and cancel this out. Now I click on finish, and my home group is created. As you can see, I have these folders shared, and again, change what you are sharing with this uh, with the home group is the link that here I can. 
uh, change the, the permissions that I have added to other users to use this. I can go and allow all devices on this network such as TVs and games controller to play my shared content. That's okay for me. Here I can view or print the home group password. If I do not see that I can just do this. So I didn't really need to uh, save it to a file. I can go and change the password. For example, by clicking and change the password, I can type a password here that is easier to remember if other users want that. For example, I type uh, the password. <laughs> That's a very creative password. And of course, I can uh, I'm gonna click on this refresh button and this will give me a very harder to guess password. But as I told you, I want the password to be easy to remember. For example, uh, company is up. This is a password. <laughs> I click on next and that's it. The password is created. I can give this password to another co uh, the, the, the another co computer so that it can you know uh, join to this home group. And uh, again change advanced sharing setting. This is the link that we have examined this previously. Let me go back. And I have a start a home group troubleshooter in case there is a problem with my home group. At any time I can leave the home group, okay? But I'm not going to leave it right now. I just want to open a file uh, explorer and you know scrolling down this navigation pane I have home group and you can see this is my username here. If I want to you know check my own files and folders you can see the computer name. Now these are the folders that are shared. If I had another user in my system, uh, in, in, in my network and he was joined to this home group, I could see his uh, name here and I could have opened that. I could, I could open that and work with his files and folders that he had shared it for me. Okay, so this is the way you work with home group. That's very easy to work, huh? So now I want to leave this home group. In case I want to leave my home group, there is a link here. By clicking on that, home group is going to be left. Uh, I, I can just uh, click on leave the home group. I can, uh, you know, change what I'm sharing in case I do not want to share all of these. Or I can leave the home group right here. Now by leaving the home group, that's going to be finished. That's it. Click on close. And I do not have any home group. And of course I do not see any link here for my home group. Actually from my own computer, at least from my own username. I do not see anything here. So this is an easier way to share your files and folders with other users in your network. But as I told you, this is not as resilient or as flexible as what we have in advanced sharing.